Are you coming in here to film with me? Yeah. <sighs> hey, why are you drinking my water? Honestly, I always dream that one day I'll be able to do these unboxings without children. My water! <laughs> <laughs> it never works. Ever. Today I have two pieces of fluff mail. One from Nerdy Mamas and one from... <coughs> Wink Diapers. You gonna be okay? Yeah. Now, the one from Wink Diapers, I did an unboxing video for you guys last week, but I um, never actually saved it to the computer. So, well, we're gonna do it all over again. This is also gonna be a little bit of a, a life update moment. The big life update thing that's gonna impact this channel as well as all of my other channels is I have bunions. I've known I've had bunions for a long time now. I, uh, last winter, my feet started hurting a lot and kind of just pushed it off like, uh, feet, pain, whatever. One day it got crippling to the point where I really couldn't do anything and went to the doctors and the doctor said, those look like bunions. So I have bunions on my fifth metamucil, which is your pinky toe. So they're called Taylor's bunions or bunionettes and they give me a lot of pain and a lot of grief. I get pain that radiates up and over the top of the foot, through the bunion and into my toes and it's really uncomfortable and I've spent the last year pretty much on like a moderate bed rest. Even a trip to Costco in improper shoes can really set me off and it's just like a lot of moaning and groaning. And I really miss being active. I was quite active with the kids before my bunions really set in. And my feet are so wide and so big that I went to the specialty shoe store in town and there's literally three options, two of which my heels are too skinny because I'm a female. And so I've got one pair of shoes that fits. I have a pair of boots that I squeeze my feet into because you need boots when you live in Canada and I'm just looking forward to having my feet fixed and being able to do stuff. So I waited a year to see the ortho surgeon and it will be now, surgery date got called for April 10th. And I think I'll be having my left foot done first. I don't actually know a whole lot. I kind of got a call from the booking department and they said a nurse would call up and follow up. But basically it's two weeks bed rest followed by six to eight weeks of more bed rest and then um, I'll have my second foot done three months after my first foot and so I have to have <clears throat> one foot done at a time and that means that I'm gonna spend a lot of this year up in bed which isn't really different than what I'm currently doing but it's probably gonna mean that videos are gonna be a little bit sparse or sporadic I've been working my tail off this month trying to pre-record and pre-film a ton of videos so that I do have content going into April, but I, just looking at what I have planned, plus my schoolwork, plus my job at Nuggles, plus everything, I suspect that there will be like a drop-off point sometime April and May and we'll pick up again with the flats and hand washing challenge. I do have podcasts all the way till the end of April and I might be able to podcast in bed with guests. Who knows? So if the world goes quiet, it's because I uh, can't film, but also I'm on bed rest so chances are I will be on the internet way too much. Come find me. Entertain me. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, maybe I'll start Twittering. I'm also learning how to knit right now. So, so let's get to it. Should we open this package? This package. Let's, let's go through the wink first because I am most excited about the other one. So wink was, Bailey Duke was on the show early January. I'll link that down below if you want to listen to her brand story. And I finally had a little bit of diaper money and I decided I would spend it. So what I ordered was a cloth diaper cover. So this is the cover. I'm a little bit surprised by how narrow the waist is. And I'm a little bit anxious about how that's going to fit. It does have nice long stuff here, but um, hmm, I do love the flaps. It's got a nice solid double gusset. This is something that I think you would love. I know, like, we should have a talk about what a double gusset really means. 
that will be for another episode. I did have a problem with this pocket or with this cover. I am missing a snap. And I just really wanted to be transparent with you and tell you that as much as I'm sure that Bailey doesn't want me to tell you that because missing flaws and diapers happen. We're all human and even if she has the best quality control on the planet, sometimes things happen. And all you do is send an email, let them know that there was a problem with their product and usually they should unless there was some sort of like closeout sale, no refunds kind of deal be able to send you a new product. So because I ordered these directly from Wing Diapers, totally regular product lineup, there she's popped another one in the mail and I'll get it eventually. I'm in Canada, shipping sucks. Um, I'm a little bit not a huge fan of this like snap layout because it doesn't have the snap. I haven't actually gotten a chance to try this out. Um, but yeah, overall looks promising. I'm a little bit worried about fitting. It does have an interesting design here in the back, which is kind of resembles maybe a disposable diaper. And I've been told that these prints are similar to other cheapy prints. And I'm gonna reiterate again that Bailey said she just uses stock TPU or PUL or fabric. And so she's not designing her own prints. So that's why there are print overlaps and that's probably something that she, if she really wanted to grow her business, might see an uptake in um, popularity with people. Cause I think we all have a desire for unique prints and there is this kind of attitude between cheapies and non cheapies I see it here on my channel and your guys' comments on my thing and to design your own TPU would really set you out. So I also ordered the Bamboo All-in-One because this is another product that I tend to like. Nuggles doesn't make an all-in-one and my I really like sending an all-in-one to the babysitter. So their all-in-one is a two flap all-in-one. It's just two layers of bamboo on each side so four five, six maybe total. It's a pretty, like it's not a, it's not, if you have Nuggles Bamboo Terry, it's super thick, super rich, heavy GSM. But this is a much finer, much lighter GSM Bamboo Terry. I'm interested to see in the absorbency on this. I'm going, I like straight off the bat kind of assume it's gonna be on the lower end like with Lighthouse Kids, but who knows? This is essentially the same cut and shape as the fitted. I also haven't had a chance to try this yet. I've just been washing it and prepping it. Um, I've washed it a couple of times and then life happened and I'm kind of like, that's another life update moment is I really struggle with mood swings. So I struggle with, um, I would classify myself as PMDD, premenstrual dysphoric disorder, in which around the week of my period, I get to a point of serious depression, anxiety, so much so that it impacts everything in my life. And this week has been really hard with ideas of worth and about even existing and value and getting up and doing things. We've pretty much just been living on eggs and toast for days now. And I'm like at the point where I just want to go buy disposable diapers. So Anna's just been running around naked trying to encourage this potty training thing because like in one of my next videos coming up about my biggest struggles is my second biggest struggle with cloth diapering is when I get into this really low funk. And I know in about two days I'm going to snap out of it and be like, oh. Um, because this is a challenge that I have going to the doctors is that the doctors don't really believe me unless I happen to go to the funk in my low mood. So trying is just really hard when you're a person who has lifelong anxiety and depression issues. Like as much as we could chalk this up to postpartum, I'm two years postpartum and Honestly, I've always been like this. Since high school, I have struggled with mood swings, with depression, with anxiety, and um, trying to manage that while you're parenting two children, very hard, very hard. I also ordered two of her inserts. I think she had a couple other products available, but I only had so much budgeting and spending money, so I ordered the bamboo, and we're gonna do a how to prep one bamboo insert or one bamboo cloth diaper video. I also ordered the hemp bamboo. It's also important to note I should that um, Bailey does wink diapers are all fair trade manufactured over 
season in China. So this is a bamboo, no, so this is a hemp, three? Three layers of hemp. I don't really remember the info off the top of my head. I'll add it. You can tell that it has shrunk like at an angle here. We have a ton of absorbency testing coming out. I've got the two Sparrows diapers. I'm going to do all of that Thirsty's product that I have. I'm going to do the Lighthouse Kids numbers I have. I have a few other things and then I got a lot more still to do, especially those Azakazi pre-folds. I know you're waiting on them. It just takes time. Okay, moving on, moving on to Anna here at Nerdy Mamas and really love this mama. If you haven't engaged with Nerdy Mamas yet, Anna is amazing. She is an amazing woman. I have nothing but positive things to say about her. I think she is a huge, great addition to the cloth diaper community. She is creating some very fun things that are right up into her alley. Honestly, I'm not really a big nerdy person. I'm like nerdy in the fact that I spent my entire high school years reading Tudor era fiction, nonfiction history books, but not nerdy in like this way. <laughs> so she's amazing. I really enjoy chatting with her on Instagram, on Facebook. She's a great asset to the community. Go check out her brand, see if it works for you. And if it doesn't work for you, let somebody else know. Um, about Nerdy Mama. So she was also one of my first early guests and I'm so appreciative of that for everybody who jumped on the show early on when I was still kind of chaotic. I wasn't nearly the size and strength that I am today but uh, we had to start somewhere and that's that's what I'm, I'm grateful for her in that sense and that's why I decided to go out of my way and order her products as much as this is not something that like speaks to me. I'm kind of more of a unicorn girl or like pretty floral prints. I really wanted to support this woman with her mission in life. So we'll check these out. I'm going to wash them up. I'm going to prep them and I'm going to do full reviews for you guys here on the channel. Honestly, probably not until June. So one of the things about my foot surgery is that my husband doesn't want to do diaper laundry. So we, uh, We'll be using disposable diapers for a month. Double bagged? Did you think I was gonna attack this with a pair of scissors, Anna? It says don't open. Fluff inside. Why not? Were you like not wanting to see like customs to open it? ordered the bigger pocket and this is for bigger kids so I'm hoping that this will fit my four-year-old. I'm not a huge fan of this three by three rise setting this three by three snap it's just like it's not my favorite it doesn't mean the diaper won't work and it can work if this is done properly so it seems to have a nice deep width. It is a fleece line pocket and it is a nice big size. The big kid pocket, big kid pocket in a cryptid and it did come with an insert. So she's got here her bamboo inserts. Usually by the, these feel kind of oily. You know how I mentioned earlier, like usually you don't need to prep bamboo, but sometimes, sometimes you can just feel it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash these once, I'm going to wash these twice, and I'm going to see if they sink or swim. If they sink, then I'll dry them and we'll start using them. Easy, simple. I think it's just four layers of a bamboo terry. It feels very similar to the wink that I have there. I mean, there's only so many, so much product out there in the market. And then I ordered Senshi Skies. This is the Sailor Moon Inspire pocket. So similar to the bigger pocket, but just one size. So let's put this up. Oh yeah, look at that. Huge difference. This should really fit my big kid well. And I'll be curious to see if it fits Miss Anna as well. And I also ordered a cover in Lolly Gagger because this is, I have no idea what this inspiration is, but I, guys, seriously, like, I don't even know if I've read all the Harry Potter books. 
um, yeah, I like what I'm looking forward to this is that it is a double waist snap. And it's got a hip snap, which I probably won't use, but double waist. Nice full panel, just the tummy panel in the front. Yes, love it because you know, battery what? died. Okay, so the nice thing is, is that you get the barrier in the front, so you can tuck a pop, you can tuck an insert, a pre-fold, anything you want really. You could, you could use these bamboo inserts. You tuck it in here, and then you get that waterproof protection. Really use, and then you don't have the pesky one in the back, because the one on the back, what does it do? It does nothing. Really, it does nothing. All it does is hold in poop when you're spraying the bloody thing out. So. I like that it doesn't have a back one. I do. I mean, there is a place in life and some people do like tucking it in both. But I'm just saying, if you're a sprayer, you're probably gonna appreciate this. It's got a nice uh, double gusset. The nice thing about Nerdy Mama is, is that she's really spent a lot of time working on and designing her prints. And so if these prints fascinate you, that's what's, that's what really one of the selling points. And then I also got our only hope in a one size all in one. And I believe this is Star Wars inspired print. These are all one size. It looks like they all have a four rise setting option four eye settings. And I know that she's worked really hard on designing her all-in-one. I think that this is generation two. I should probably correct me if I'm wrong, but she said she made a couple of tweaks to it, including something with the back panel. And when I do my review, I will figure out what that is and write it down. Um, but nice sized all-in-one, maybe a little bit short. Might be a little bit short. Definitely feels like a lot of bamboo in here. One well designed double gusset here. I would compare this to maybe the Omaki all in one, in that this kind of flip flop. It's also kind of like that wink all in one we saw earlier with the double panels. And we will see you in a couple weeks. I'll do some absorbency testing on both the wink and the Annie's products. Anna's products. I'm gonna call her Annie. Her name is Anna. I don't know why. It's so weird. My daughter's name is Anna as well, so it's like. <sighs> All right, so that's the life update. Lots of great content coming this way. Maybe too much content. I like, I have years of content over on my blog. I have tons of content in my brain. I really kind of want to push hard and get this going. I also really don't want this space to be about me. This space is about all of us, about us all coming together and having a conversation. I enjoy when people bring critical thoughts to the table. I, I do really struggle when I get comments that feel like they go against my values and I'm trying to kind of separate that out, but I'm getting there and I'm working on it. If there's something you wanna see, drop a comment below. Uh, I'll be on Instagram lots. I keep getting banned because I like things too much, but uh, I do enjoy the Instagram platform. I also have a really big giveaway coming up soon, like really big, like it's not cloth diaper related, but it's something you're gonna want to have. And I'm like shocked that this brand even approached me to do and host a giveaway. And um, you know you want it. All right, see you online again.